In case your Friday wasn't good enough, I got some big time news for you. Something that'll put a smile on your face if you're a Cincinnati Bearcat fan and a frown on your face if you're a fan of the Connecticut Huskies. The number one prospect in the state of Connecticut, four-star recruit and 6'8 forward Tyler Betsy has chosen Wes Miller and the Cincinnati Bearcats. Clap it up for our man, Wes. He's doing big things right now. Four-star prospects haven't been a staple of the Cincinnati Bearcats recruiting classes in years past. I mean, Mick Cronin was going after guys like uh, Alil Sissimi and uh, Prince Toyambi, Laquil Hardnett. By the end of Mick Cronin's tenure, you could tell that he just didn't even try bringing in big-time recruits to Cincinnati. Wes Miller, granted, he has the Big 12 to work with, but right now it's four-star after four-star. Tyler Betsy joins a class that already includes Tyler McKinley, a top 75 recruit out of Cincinnati, and has joined the likes of Jizzle James and Aziz Bandango and Rayvon Griffith and Simas Lukosius, all either former four-star or four-star recruits last year. So it speaks volumes right now with what Wes Miller's doing, getting the number one player in Connecticut off a UConn national title to say, no, I'm not going to stay home and play for the Huskies. I'm going to go to Cincinnati. Not only that, in this day and age where NIL Collective is so huge, it means that the Bearcats, they have a little bag they're tossing around. Whether you realize it or not, I think Cincinnati has a little more money than we're giving them credit for. Landing Tyler Betsy is proof of that. I've also heard that Kane Broom was instrumental in helping Betsy land in Cincinnati. So it's great to see that Wes Miller's welcoming back all these old Bearcats and the alumni base is using that little sales funnel to potentially lure these guys to Cincinnati. I'm fired up. Tyler Betsy, big time recruit. Duke wanted him. Alabama wanted him. UConn wanted him. Creighton wanted him. Every school in the nation pretty much wanted this player. And the 6'8 forward is a member of the Cincinnati Bearcats. Scouting report on Betsy. He has a rare combination of positional size, fluidity, and shooting that makes him a very high upside prospect. That's you know He's high upside, but he's also really good right now. Um, his stock is on the rise, though. He was recently a Rivals 5-star. Obviously, they shift the recruiting rankings every year, and he's one of the last recruits um, between that 4-star and 5-star gap. He's a top 40 recruit in the country right now there you see the numbers uh, Betsy's shooting is his most glaring attribute with a soft touch and natural rhythm to his release Betsy shows flashes of being able to put the ball on the floor and make plays in transition but is yet to make that a consistent part of his arsenal yet keyword yet he's only like 18 years old he also has untapped potential on the defensive end where he has moments where he can get low and wide in his stance to slide his feet and as Betsy continues to mature in the game he would benefit from showing more sense of urgency on defense at times. Wes Miller has no issue whatsoever getting his guys to play hard. So you love the fact that he brings in a guy that is on the rise like a Tyler Betsy that has the full package of tools there once he can put it together. And quite frankly, Betsy's going to join a team that's probably going to be loaded next year, especially if Aziz Bandango and uh, Jameel Reynolds are ineligible, are back next season. Then you add him to the likes of a, a sophomore, Jizzle James and Rayvon Griffith. You throw them in with a junior, Dan Skillings, if he doesn't go to the NBA. And, and the list goes on and on. Really the only player that the Cats are losing, players, C.J. Frederick, um, Odio Guama, I believe, and John Newman. So take away those three. And the, the Bearcats have a damn good team, and Tyler Betsy's going to join the mix. All right, Chatterbox Bearcats is going to have live shows coming up on Chatterbox Sports in just a bit. November 6th, the Bearcats open up their season. Here's a look at their schedule. My man Houdini and myself will give you live recaps after every single game. If we're not doing the live recaps, someone part of the Chatterbox Sports team will help out. So the best Bearcats coverage right here on Chatterbox Sports. Make sure you subscribe wherever you get your audio podcast. Go there right now. Hit that subscribe button so when the season does start, you got coverage around the clock. All right, everyone, enjoy your weekend. And remember, Smiths, Miller, 95, Rick Smiths, Reggie Miller. Um, go Pacers. Pacers suck. Go Bearcats. That's all that matters.